A lip lip is you have an elongated skin portion of the upper lip, from the nose to the upper lip. It's very common as people get older, this lengthens, you get flattening of the lip. There have been a lot of changes recently. Some of my colleagues, such as Ben Talley in California, have applied this to young patients, models, actresses, and found that people who get lip filler find that the filler tends to blow the lip up, but it's always concentric. So if your lip is not the perfect anatomy for filler, you'll get a duck look. Whereas lip lift with an incision properly placed at the base of the nose and closed precisely with very fine sutures and elevated in the right plane, you can get a beautiful elevation of the upper lip, eversion of the red part called the vermilion, a nice improvement in the appearance and shape of the upper lip as well as improvement in dental hooding. The lip lift will take approximately an hour to an hour and a half. Patients tell it really well, they go home right after with minimal discomfort. We generally do a lip lift under local anesthesia. One small shot here and here under the lip, which is the same thing I do when I do lip injections with filler. You barely feel that and then it's completely numb. We then can put local anesthesia in and the patient has the entire procedure with no pain at all. The recovery time for lip lift is about a week till you have decent function. You could be functioning with a mask or with people you know, but the lift is stiff for a few weeks and for full recovery, full animation to feel completely comfortable, it can take a few months, even up to three months. We often combine lip lift with other procedures. We can combine with a rhinoplasty, combine with a facelift, which is very common in senior patients who get the lip gets longer with age. We want to lift their face. We also want to shorten that lip, improve upper dental hooding. So we can do this with any other procedure or by itself. The two main candidates for lip lift are elderly patients where the skin part has elongated, but also patients who are getting fillers, even young patients, find that lip filler just expands the lip and may look like a duck lip. If you find that's the problem and your lip sticks out too far, you may be a candidate for lip lift, or actually will evert the upper lip, flip it up, and make a more luxurious upper lip pout. Lip lift is sometimes even a better solution than fillers because fillers are, are temporary. You may retain some of the filler, and after a while it just doesn't give you the same result, whereas a lip lift is permanent. That will last the rest of your life.